is the Emergency Medical Minute. So my, my medical minute tonight is about Alties. Well, formerly known as Alti, now known as a brewery. The um, acronyms stand for Apparent Life-Threatening Event, but in reality, this was too ominous of a sounding diagnosis for the actual outcomes of these patients, typically. So it's now a brewery, which is a brief, resolved, unexplained event. So this happens in babies where a caregiver will see an episode that entirely freaks them out and terrifies them that their baby might die. And um, it's usually seen in children less than one year of age. So when the patient gets here, most of the time they're well appearing. And the events that um, kind of qualify you as having one of these are they have cyanosis or pallor. They can have absent, decreased, or irregular breathing. And they have a change in tone, either limp or stiff. And then altered responsiveness. They only need to have one of those things to qualify as a brewery. So then you have the criteria, you do a history of physical. If there's no you know, evidence of anything else on physical exam or by history, then you can qualify as a brewery. If there are additional symptoms such as fever, cough, runny nose, or um, explanation for the event such as reflux, difficulty feeding, or airway abnormalities, then you are not in brewery territory anymore. So beyond that, you can uh, break down some risk stratification. So if you have all of the following, you are low risk. If you're over 60 days old, if you're greater than or equal to 32 weeks gestational age, or greater than 45 weeks corrected gestational age, so the preemies that are, have been out that long. Uh, no CPR was performed and the event lasted less than one minute and it was a first event. You have to meet all of those to be low risk. Um, and then the recommendations for the management of those patients are that you should educate them about these events. You can offer resources for CPR. Um, you may offer pertussis testing and 12 lead EKG. Uh, you can briefly monitor patients with continuous pulse ox and serial observation. You do not need to obtain viral respiratory panels, urinalysis, blood glucose, lactic acid, or neuroimaging. And you do not need to admit the patient solely for cardiorespiratory monitoring. You should not obtain extensive labs, including plasma, amino or acids, urine, organic acids, all these like metabolic workup laboratories. And then you don't do home cardiorespiratory monitoring um, and don't prescribe uh, acid suppression. So. If you are not low risk and you're high risk, you sort of have to go off on your own and investigate that a bit further. So I feel like a lot of these are high risk because they're less than 60 days of age, but um, the risk for recurrence for a brewery is 10 to 25%. And the actual like death in these patients is far less than 1%. So usually even the high risk ones have great outcomes. And um, usually the, the ones that do progress to death uh, on a subsequent event are due to like child abuse or neurologic deficits or pneumonia or metabolic disease. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.